Hello, in this demo we are going to see is postback property. Now say here I have a text box button and a label and what is that I have implemented whenever I click the button it should take the text from the text box and append it to hello and it should display the result on label that means whatever I write in the text box it should display in the label saying hello that text whatever I have written now let me execute this say Manzoor and I'll click the button it says hello Manzoor now what I want whenever I execute my application it is showing my text box as empty my requirement is it should display some text in the text box as by default so where should I write the code for that now if I see in my code behind I have button click event in the same way I have one more event called as page load event now this is the event which occurs or triggers whenever I execute my page whenever the page gets loaded now I'll put a breakpoint here and I'll execute this see that first page load event has occurred I'll press F5 so my page load event will occur whenever I go for execution of my page or whenever my page gets loaded so I'll stop this now, so I'll be writing the code in page load event any default setting or initial screen settings that I want to perform I'll be writing it in my page load event now my requirement is by default the text of the text box should be Manzoor the trainer so I'll just write text box one dot text equals to Manzoor the trainer I'll save this and execute it now if you see by default the text of the text box is Manzoor the trainer now whenever I click the button it says hello Manzoor the trainer so this is fine as per my requirement it is performing now if at all I change this from Manzoor the trainer to Jack and press the button it should display me now hello Jack oops so what is that it is doing it is displaying me the earlier text that I set at the time of page load means what it is always setting the value of text box to Manzoor the trainer so now what is it I'll do I'll come to my page load event and I'll put a breakpoint here as well as a breakpoint here now I have placed the breakpoints at page load as well as button click event. I'll execute this. So first page load event is taking place. Now the text of the text box is empty and I am setting it to Manzoor the trainer. Now I'll say F11. The text of the text box has been set to the initial value that is Manzoor the trainer. So that's fine. Now whenever I click button Manzoor the trainer will be displayed here but as this is the default setting I want to change I can change right I want to change it to Jack and I'll click the button now my intention behind this is if I'm clicking button it should execute button click event right so I'll click the button 
so if you observe my control has again reached to page load event and I'll press F11 so it is performing default settings and then it is coming to the button click event means what page load event is taking place two times or page load event is triggered two times one is the initial page load and another whenever I click a button button click means whenever I make a post back if you see a green bar loading at the bottom status bar means that it is making a post back so post back is nothing but hitting the server from client if I click submit button my request will go to the server and it will come back and display the result on the client so this complete round trip is called as a post back so my page load event is taking place or getting triggered in the initial page load and whenever I make a post back so whenever I make a post back you see that it is taking page load first then going for button click event so this is the default functionality of the page or this is the architecture of the page now what I want I want this code to get executed for initial page load only I don't want this code to get executed whenever I am making a post back so how do I check that I'll be checking that with a simple property called as is post back I'll say if is post back equals to false that means if post back is false then only it should execute this task so when the post back will be false in initial page load that's it in initial page load my post back will be false so it will execute this now whenever I click the button it is a post back it will come in the page load it will check is post back false no it's true so it will skip this and then go for button click event let me execute this now this is the initial page load I'll just press F11 now is post back is false so false equals to false that is okay it is going to execute this so that's fine my initial settings now I'm changing this to Jack and I'll press this button now again it has reached to page load event now this time is post back is true that means this page load has occurred because of post back so it is going to skip this part that means it is not going to set the initial value and it will take the new text that we have set in the text box and it will display that on the label so that's it this is very simple this is how your is post back property works so whenever I want to perform something in my initial page load whenever I want to perform something in my initial page load I'll be going for is post back property so this is all about your is post back property thank you very much